Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about safest and best place to live with climate change. So make sure to watch the full video. Weighing each factor equally, the result is a theoretical suggestion of which cities might fare best or worst in the coming 30 years. And since we only looked at the 50 largest cities in the US, it bears to keep in mind that while San Francisco has the lowest risk on this list, it actually has a much higher risk than many smaller cities in the US. 1. San Francisco, California California may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of climate resiliency, but San Francisco is a different story, earning the highest score of the 50 cities in our study. Heat isn't a major issue in San Francisco, and climate change isn't expected to drastically change that. The Golden City is predicted to have just three days of extreme heat per year by 2050, and less than a full day of high heat and humidity. Sea level rise is also expected to minimally impact residential areas of San Francisco, despite its location on its namesake bay. The low percentage of properties are in 100-year floodplains, and that's not expected to change at all in the next 30 years. San Fran is also largely immune to the climate-related disasters we measured in our study, with few hurricanes and tornadoes expected. And though Northern California is very prone to wildfires, San Francisco itself is not. Nearby Santa Clara County's annualized wildfire occurrence is 5,215% higher than San Francisco. 2. Seattle, Washington Like San Francisco, Seattle doesn't expect to see a drastic increase in days with extreme heat or high heat and humidity. Just four extreme heat days are projected annually from 2040 to 2059 and less than two days with high heat and humidity. The biggest concern for Seattleites? Flooding, though even those numbers are relatively low for a city that sits on the Puget Sound. Less than 10% of its properties are expected to be in 100-year flood zones by 2050, and that's just a 0.5% increase from properties in flood zones today. And even though sea level rise is expected to affect 0.35% of properties by 2050, that's well below the 1.35% average for the cities in our study. Surprisingly, its wildfire risk remains low considering the rest of the state has seen an increase in blazes from 2020 to 2021. 1. And although it's starting to see a smoke season from wildfires burning throughout the West, air quality in Seattle is better than the average of the cities in our study. 83% of days in 2021 were good air quality versus the average of 63%. 3. Columbus, Ohio Columbus is three on our list for best cities for climate change, though some of its projected numbers will make you realize that San Francisco and Seattle are largely anomalies in how relatively unaffected they'll be by the changing climate. Climate change is coming for most of us, even in top-ranking cities in this study. The biggest risk facing Columbus residents is heat. Ohioans can expect steamier summers come 2050, with an average of 20 days of extreme heat predicted. 18 more days than they're experiencing now. And unfortunately, that's not a dry heat. The number of days with high heat and humidity is similarly expected to increase to nearly 17 annually by 2050, almost 15 more days than today. 4. Minneapolis, Minnesota Coming in at number 4 on our list, the biggest threat Minneapolis residents face is heat. By 2050, Residents can expect around 15 extremely hot days per year. That's nearly 13 more than today. And those rising temps will see with it a rising dew point. Days with high heat and humidity are also expected to increase to almost 19 days per year, 14 more than today. While 7.2% of properties will be in 100-year flood zones come 2050, that's just 0.1% more than today. So how is the city preparing for this sweltering heat wave? Pretty well, if its community resiliency score has anything to say about it. Since 2013, the city has been working to reduce energy use, recycle half of all city waste, and build 30 miles of bicycle lanes to promote green transportation in an effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 30% by 2025. Five, Baltimore, Maryland. 
like Columbus and Minneapolis, residents of Baltimore can expect to feel the biggest effects of climate change in the form of hotter temps. The Charm City can expect an average of 24 days of extreme heat and 11 days of high heat and humidity per year by 2050. That's an increase of around 18 days and 10 days, respectively. And it appears that Baltimore's warm summer breeze is clean, too. 75% of the measured days in 2021 were registered as good air quality. What about flooding? Even though the city sits on the Chesapeake Bay, the rise in sea level isn't going to be a huge issue over the next 30 years. Just 4.8% of properties will be in 100-year floodplains by 2050, an increase of just 0.4% from today. 6. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Milwaukee slides in at number 6 on our best cities for climate change list thanks to its below average number of days with extreme heat predicted for 2050. Just 9 days versus the average of 44 days for the rest of the cities in this study. However, it'll still feel the effects of heat and humidity as much as other cities on this list. A projected 19 days for 2050 compared to the average of 18 days for all of the cities in this index. While you'd expect a city situated on Lake Michigan to see an above-average threat of flooding, that's not the case. By 2050, just shy of 5% of Milwaukee properties will be in 100-year floodplains, an increase of only 0.35% over today. But its air quality isn't quite the breath of fresh air you'd expect. Just 58% of days in 2021 were considered good air quality versus the 63% average for the cities in this index. Seven, Portland, Oregon. While Portland is getting hotter, it's not nearly as balmy as other cities on this list. By 2050, the Rose City will only see 13 extreme heat days and around nine days with high heat and humidity. Though this is more than residents are currently experiencing, it's still below average for the cities in this study. But where Portland stands out is its higher than average percentage of properties flooding by 2050. Around 12% of homes and businesses will be located in 100-year flood zones, over 1% more than today, and the highest increase of any city on our best list. 8. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Like Portland, the city of bridges isn't projected to get too, too hot. Residents can expect to see just 10 days of extreme heat and just over 13 days of high heat and humidity each year by 2050, both below average compared to the other cities in this study. But the same can't be said for flooding. Situated along three rivers, Pittsburgh has a higher than normal portion of homes that will be in 100-year floodplains by 2050. 12.4% versus the average of 11% for the cities in this study. Though this is only up 0.4% from today, it shows the necessity for the city to start planning now for this continued trend in flood risk. With no hurricane or wildfire risk, and a generally low risk of tornadoes, the only other main concern Pittsburgh residents should have is the city's poor air quality. Only 47% of measured days in 2021 were good versus the 63% average. 9. Richmond, Virginia Even though Richmond residents can expect a full month of extreme heat by 2050, it still comes in below the average of 44 days for the cities in this study. Instead, the historic city's real threat lies in the rising sea level and hurricane risk. 3% of Richmond homes are expected to be at risk for flooding in 2050, nearly double the average on this list. And the percentage of homes in 100-year flood zones is expected to rise to 5.3%. Add to this the increase in hurricanes in Richmond as storms make landfall in the Carolinas and move inland, and we're looking at a perfect storm for flooding. 10. Denver, Colorado Rounding out our list of the best cities for climate change is the Mile High City. Though Denver residents can expect an average of 33 days of extreme heat by 2050, its lack of humidity isn't projected to change over the coming decades. And while there's some flooding risk, with almost 3% of homes expected to be in a 100-year flood zone by 2050, the overall increase is low at just 0.1%. So is Colorado devoid of any severe climate-related challenges? 
Not quite. It scores similarly to Portland and Seattle in its risk of wildfires, but unlike those other two cities, it scores below average for air quality, with just 43% of days measuring good in 2021. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.